Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you the easiest and fastest way in which you can set up shipping on your Big Cartel store. Now you may have added your product like I have here, but not yet actually added your shipping. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can set it up for your store. To start with, you first want to be on the Big Cartel website. So if you haven't made an account already, just sign up, but I'm assuming most of you will. So go ahead and sign in and just head over to the dashboard and at the top here just click on products and find which product you want to set up shipping for. So in my case, I've only got this one, so I'm just gonna click this. And here's where we can edit bits about our product. So if we scroll down a bit, we will get to shipping. And as you can see, I haven't actually set it up yet. So what we're gonna do is click on this plus here, and here's where we can actually start setting up our shipping. So there's no actual set way of how to do this. It will depend on what you're selling and what kind of countries you want to ship to. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on country. Now you can do worldwide shipping by clicking everywhere. And we can also add in other options and choose specific countries if that's what we're going to do. However, if we were just going to choose worldwide shipping, we could have a universal fee of, let's say, £5. And with others, we could drop that down to £3. Now, if you don't know the difference between these two, if you hover over this, it does tell you a bit about it. So as you can see here, it says... Our system will automatically take the highest shipping alone price in each order and then apply the with others price for each additional item in the order. So if you don't understand that still, you can click learn more and you can read through this to understand it a bit. So you basically just want to set that as you like. Now, let's say we didn't want worldwide shipping. We wanted specific shipping for each country because obviously it's going to cost different prices depending where you're shipping. So this will probably be a better option for most people. So I'm from the UK, so let's just say we were choosing UK shipping. We could choose to make this just £1, for example, and 50p with others. Simply because shipping from UK to a UK address won't cost much, so we don't have to charge that much. Next up, we can add another one. So let's just say United States. We can go down here, choose United States. And now this might cost more since United States is a bit further than the United Kingdom. So for this one, I'm just going to choose £5. And then with others, let's just do £3. And you basically just want to repeat this process for each country that you want to ship to. So right now, it will currently only be able to ship to United Kingdom and United States. So we just want to repeat this process across every country you want to ship to. Next up, we'll add Japan. Now, this could cost a lot more. So let's say 10 for this and 5 with others. And then what we can also do if we want, since this, since this only covers United Kingdom, United States and Japan, if we don't want to do this for every single country and we're not really sure how much each country charges, what we can do on top of all these is add in another one. And for this one, we're going to choose everywhere else. And here we're going to choose a flat fee for every other country that isn't these three. So we've chosen the three. Let's just say we're mainly going to be shipping to these three countries and we want to add this one just so other countries can still buy. But we don't want to make the shipping too cheap so that we're losing our money. So what we could do is something like something like £20 for this. And with others, we just do 10 Because then if you do that, other countries that aren't those original three will still be able to buy. However, you have raised up the shipping price. So if they want to pay that additional fee for the item, they can. Or they can add some other products and then get it cheaper with the with others um, option. So yeah, that's basically how you set up shipping. You want to repeat that process for each country. In reality, it would be better if you didn't have this one and you had different shipping rate for each country. But obviously that can take a lot of time. If you're adding every single country that's on this list, it's going to take a long time to see the shipping cost for each country. So do this as you like. And obviously the prices will depend on what you're selling. If you're, if you're selling an item that's a bit bigger, you may want to charge more because shipping typically costs more if the item weighs more. So after you've filled these out, you can simply just click save. And as you can see, yes, your product was updated and we're going to head back. And we know that our shipping is now set up for this individual product. So I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you successfully managed to set up shipping on your big cartel store. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.